Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and before I get started, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up so I know you're enjoying the content. If you don't, thumbs down to work too, and if you like knife content and you're not already, think about hitting that subscribe button. And today we are going to go through my Clip Point collection, $100 and over. Some of these might be classified as Bowie's or... You know, in some which way, they resemble a clip point to me. So that's why they're in this uh, collection video. So let's get started. The first is uh, Tuya Knives Blackbeard. Uh, it's a slip joint. It's got a very uh, sexy looking clip point, like Bowie-esque blade, like a multi-grind. Nice and thin. These were produced by uh, a gentleman on Instagram. I can't remember his name offhand. My bad. Um, and they were supposed to be for the European market only. But I think they did sell some of these down in the States. So there's his logo right there. It's got this, you know, black titanium. I'm going to have to go through these so it doesn't take all night. The blade steel is S35VN. Just a nice, sexy slip joint. That's a Tuya black beard. All right, the next is a discontinued buck. And that is the Buck Mayo Collaboration Wyme, I think it's called. There's um, Mayo's Maker's Mark right there. And there's the model number. Used to be able to pick these up off of Amazon. I don't know if they still have any more, but it's black-coated titanium. I did my anno finish to the clip, but it's too dirty to actually see. Absolutely love that clip point blade right there. Super sexy. And then I love the mayo holes. Just think it's nice. This is a smaller knife, but really, really nice. All right, another... I think these are discontinued. I don't know. You, you probably, I think you still pick them up. <coughs> um, that is the SOG Stingray in the VG10 San Mai Blade. It's got that recurved clip point with the inlay uh, Mother of Pearl and Mother of Pearl inlay right there. Just a, a beautiful knife. Um, <laughs> It's funny they go. It's like they go. They they try to go higher in, but this is stainless scales. You can see it's all scratched up. And uh, I think the thing that keeps me from carrying this is it doesn't have a didn't come with a pocket clip. I've been thinking about adding one myself. It's a stupid smooth knife, comfortable in hand. I like it a lot. I just I don't like carrying stuff without pocket clips unless I put them in a slip or something. All right, the next is uh, the Boker Albatross. Albatross. This is a Genzanzo collaboration. Um, this was, a, a, I think, a County Com uh, collaboration knife with the drop, or they were sold on drop with the shred carbon fiber. It comes with the little lanyard with the bead, titanium bead. Just a cool look and a love, love. One thing I've always loved is the way Boker does their stone wash. Nice and aggressive. It just looks nice. Hides wear very well. VG10 steel. This thing, listen, listen to this thing thwack whenever it locks open. It just has that super thwack. Cool knife. All right, the next is the Hogue uh, Deca that I got reground by my buddy Brian at Transparent Knives. So this thing was already a good slicer. Now it's like 7,000s behind the edge. This thing is a laser beam. Super nice cutter. I love the Deca. Great little EDC knife for the money. I think you can get these for like 140 bucks. I put <laughs> this uh, Wii titanium clip on there just because... The other one caused the hot spot for me. The Hogue Deca. Alrighty, the next is the Kaiser Assassin. 
with my specified anno that you can't see because the lighting's terrible in here and it's dirty, but that's not what it's about. S35 VN blade, nice and uh, nicely ground, super precision point, multiple deployment methods. We'll say it's super smooth, spotty flick it, and then you have that cobra hood type thing right there to do the thumb flick. And then the whack, cool knife. I think those are about 150 somewhere. I'm not gonna do prices on all of them then. Another excellent knife. This is uh, the A Purvis Blades Primordial MK2, I think. Um, the first version of this, it was a smaller version done by Wii. This one was done by Best Tech. Uh, I must say they, they knocked it out of the park. You got marble carbon fiber, uh, half scale, and then titanium that has uh, been anode purple. You got the PVD blade. There's Adam's logo. M390 steel. The detent on these is dialed in perfection. And the way he put that long, uh, that long hole right there, it's so easy to... Just put your thumb down, that finger down there, and you can spotty flick it with, without any issues. And I love, love that pocket clip. Alrighty, uh, next is the Tepe Designs Hornet in G10. He also did it in titanium, and then he did a Hornet 2 in carbon fiber. This is an excellent knife. I tested the heck out of this, uh, this one. This one's in D2 and uh it did absolutely amazing probably one of this probably did the best out of any d2 knife i have to date and i just threw this in the clip point you know if, if it didn't have this hump maybe you just i don't know what you'd call that but let's call it a clip point excellent action you can spotty flick it all right uh discontinued somewhat rare is the Spyderco uh, Schleese Bowie, Schleese, Schleese, whatever, however I want to call it. Love that, that polished, there I am, that polished uh, stone wash finish is probably my favorite finish of all. Absolutely love it. This is a Tai Chung Taiwan CTS XHP steel, stupid smooth. Oh, I love this knife. That's a Schleese buoy. All right, the next, I don't think these start out as um, clip points, but I got mine reprofiled. And this is the Grayman Dua. An excellent hard use knife if, if you need that. Beefy stock, uh, just stout. Wish it would have had, ex I wish the, it would have had blade stops, external stop pins, but it did the trick for me whenever I was working as an operator in a chemical plant. That's why I bought this knife. Um, I did the, the multi-colored anno. I did a blue with a stone wash, then I did a bronze, and I distressed all the edges just to give it an aged look. And this has a wheel moon regrind on here. And this thing went from like 30,000s behind the edge to I think it's like 12,000s behind the edge with a nice deep hollow on there. Very reflective, as you can see, almost a mirror polish. Very, very nice. And he put a nice little clip on there for me. Clip point. Love this knife. It's been around for a long time. Real long time. S30V steel on that one. Next is a custom. And that is the Chuck Gradatus uh, Toucan. It's pretty much a Persian almost, but we'll call that a clip. It definitely is a clip right there. Um, I love the aesthetics of this knife. It has the Mayo uh, influence holes in there. I don't know why my camera's going in and out like that. Uh, very comfortable in hand. My only complaint is is it's, it's kind of thick behind. I mean it's not super thick but it, I would love it to have been a nice deep hollow on there so it would have been a little bit better cutter but I still enjoy this knife because it's nice thin lightweight 
There's his maker's mark right there. S30, I think. It's either S30V or CPM154, one of the two. Another Tepe Designs, the Killage. That's been modified by me. Did an acid stone wash. Um, and then I did my finish to the titanium, which does not show up because of the because of the lighting. See the lighting's being hidden, but and as dirty as can be. Very cool knife. They they crown the spine on here. Excellent action. Uh, super comfortable in hand. Decent slicer. I love this knife. Alrighty, the next is the Hinder Knives XM18 Bowie blade shape. Still that clip. Love this knife. Love that blade design. Got the battle bronze and 20 CV with the triway pivot. Nice and smooth. I kind of dialed the detent back so I could uh, thumb flick it and spidey flick it. It was a little too too strong before, so I dialed it back a little bit. Oh, and that's wearing sharp dress knives, green micarta scales. All right, I guess you could call this a clip point. That is my uh, Emerson Mini Commander. You definitely have a clip right there. You can see that, well, yeah, you can see the line right there. And you have this recurve right there. Really mean, aggressive knife. And these scales were made for me by uh, Blades and Such on Instagram. Love the Mini Commander. Yeah, I don't know why my camera's going in and out, so I apologize if y'all are seeing that. Alrighty, the next is an Isham Design Black Star. This is basically a slip joint with a double ball detent. Love that blade shape. If he would if he would do this a little bit bigger size, because this is a pretty small knife. Uh, if he would do this a little bit bigger with a liner lock or frame lock, oof, I'd be all over that. I, he said that's in the works, but um, I don't know when. Uh, this is in, I think, is it M390? Cool, small, fifth pocket knife. All right, the next two are from Berg Blades, and that is the uh, Pup right here with uh, the thumb studs, the hollow ground blade, um, and I upgraded it to the Tymascus pivot collar. I don't know if that's really coming through. Let me try to adjust the, the lighting in, on this. I don't know if that's helping. Got the Tymascus pivot collar, the Tymascus pocket clip, and the Tymascus there. And the best part of it is this Tymascus backspacer. Ooh, it looks so good in person, like a candy stripe. That's the thumb stud version, and then you have the flipper version of the same knife. This is the Iron Pup. But this one, instead of having satin, it has the dark stone washed. I, I prefer this finish as far as aesthetics. And then the dark stone wash on the titanium with the carbon fiber. And then I did the, the poor man um, for me. Uh stasified ando instead of buying another one of the kits there you go all righty then we have the monterey bay knives men pen that's been heavily modded by me got the two-tone acid stone wash and satin on the flats blade wearing my edge a dirty edge and my ando finish once again that you can't see um cool knife it, it has some issues but i fixed most of them 
I think they're a little overpriced for what you're getting and for who's making them. But Monterey Bay Knives Men Pen. The next is the Concept Knives Gremlin. Just reviewed this if you hadn't seen. Most of these knives I've reviewed. Just check out my channel. This one, I, I, it wasn't that long ago. This is the uh, Gremlin in the uh, jungle, jungle Wear, I think, or Jungle Carbon Fiber. Very, very good looking stuff there. This knife has gotten super smooth. The more I use it, the smoother it gets. I like this knife a lot. All right, the next is the Pena X Series Trapper with that clip point blade M390 steel. Oh, the last one was S35. The last four of them were S35, my bad. You got the titanium scales with the jig bone pattern on there. Blue titanium hardware and blue titanium backspacer. This one has excellent action. And of all the um, the Pena X series ones that I own, this one's the easiest to disengage because it doesn't have that bolster lock. All right, the next is not technically considered, I don't think, a uh, clip point, but to me, it's a clip point, and that is my Crine Regrind Hinderer Half Track. Let's see, it definitely has a clip, a clipped point. Oh man, this knife um, with the Crine Regrind is such a wicked cutter. It's down to, I think, 12 thousandths behind the edge. Man, oh man, this isn't on the triway, but um, I'm okay with that because as you see, it's got excellent flipping action, and this is the all titanium scales. It doesn't have the overlay, which I kind of wish it did so I could put some micarta overlays over that, the bronze finish. All right, we're almost done. Next is a Blade HQ exclusive collaboration with Vox, and that is the Dapper that I got reground by my buddy Brian at Transparent Knives before it was a terrible slicer. At least I thought it was. And now it's 12 thousandths behind the edge and that thing is a wicked slicer. See the Vox logo still there. The Blade HQ logo there. These were made in Italy. M390. Uh, love the carbon, I mean the uh, micarta. This is natural micarta wire clip. Very cool titanium backspacer. Comfortable knife for how little it is. And Brian also put the sharpening notch in there for me. This thing has a wicked strong detent. All right, just a few more. Uh, next is my Wells Blade Works clip point. Um, doesn't have a name. 20 CV steel with, uh, this is a, a user for me. Just sharpened her up the other day. Um, as you can see, she gets used. It's got a light acid wash on the blade. Uh, natural micarta scales. Just a regular pod clip. I didn't want anything too fancy with this because it's just in a titanium liner lock with some black G10 uh, liners and a sandwich brown and black G10 backspacer. Love this knife. Great, great little work knife right here. All right, the next is a Tucson TS-224 that I picked up for my buddy OCD for EDC. Um, cool knife. He did a, a hand job to it. He did bronze on this side. I think it goes good with the carbon fiber. And on this side, he did blue and blue with the backspacer. I might change this all bronze or something. I don't know. I hadn't thought about it. Uh, Jelly Jerry design, 14C, 28N. Nicely ground. You got a robust tip for for stabbing into stuff. Cool knife. Uh, I still got to do a video on this one. 
Tucson TS-224 Viper. All righty. Uh, discontinued ZT-0900. This is a, a less charged design. Didn't come with a thumb stud. I added them to it because I wanted to. Uh, cool little knife. I love Les George's uh, designs. Uh, comes out like a rocket. S35 VN steel. Deep carry pocket clip. Left or right hand tip up carry. This thing comes out like a rocket. And I can use that uh, thumb stud if I want. Cool knife. Next is, isn't really technically a clip point either, but to me it is. And that is the SOCOM Elite. Look, see, it's got clip from here to here. You can see the little line right there, clip point. <laughs> so we'll just throw this in here, just because it was laying on the table. Uh, this is a 2018 model M390 wearing my edge. I use this thing a good bit. You can see that edge is all scratched up because it gets used. Excellent knife for the money. Stupid smooth. Excellent action. Love it. So we'll do like we did last time for all y'all who stuck around. My favorite aesthetically um, would have to be the aesthetics of the clip point on this Isham uh, Black Star. Just beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. And I would have to say the best bang for your buck. Ooh, this is a tough one. I'm going to go with the Hogue Decca. Uh, of course, you don't get the regrind on it, but it was a great knife as is. I think they're like 140 bucks, 20 CV, G10 with uh, axis style lock, super smooth, decently thin stock, or nice and thin stock. Uh, just great knives. I own both variations, the clip point and the worn clip version. So to me, best value uh best or prettiest aesthetically and there you go if you have any questions comments concerns please leave them down below if you want to know about any in any knife in particular just let me know down in the comment section um let me know which one is your favorite out of the whole group uh and which one you would have chose for these two spots Always love hearing y'all opinions down below. That's all it is, is my opinion. And I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.